my uncle from Bristol visited my family in Birmingham. We spent the whole day showing him around. And at the end, we said, what do you think? And he went, too dangerous. <laughs> He's from Baghdad. <laughs> this Arab survived three wars. We took him to Birmingham for one day. He was like, Habibi, what are you trying to do? Get me killed? <laughs> White people, I need to tell you something. The worst thing about racism is that sometimes, it's pretty funny, I can't even lie. <laughs> I, the day after 9-11, this kid in my primary school came up to me. He was like, where are you from? I said, Iraqi. He looked at me and he went, Iraqi? Mate, no offense, but why don't you just go back to Pakistan? Pakistan. <laughs> what am I going to do in Pakistan, Oliver? <laughs> Erasmus? Before comedy, I did acting. Uh, I had to quit acting because there was so much like racist typecasting. I once auditioned for Romeo and Juliet. Somehow got cast as Bin Laden. I was like, yo, come on. <laughs> At uni, there was this, we had this cleaner in our halls. She cleaned the kitchen once a week. And I remember the first time I met her, uh, I was eating my lunch and she walks in and I stood up and she went, no, 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 don't worry about me. Sit there, sit there, finish your curry. I was eating fish fingers. <laughs> Uh, now, my, uh, so I remember actually once after a gig, uh, a guy came up to me, he was like, mate, I'd really appreciate it if you cut out the material that's racist to white people. <laughs> racist to white people? Can I just shock you? Some of my best friends are white, okay? <laughs> that's not easy when you're from Birmingham. Do you know what it's cool when someone from Birmingham has a friend that's white? Outreach. <laughs> now, uh, quite a few years ago, my Iraqi family and I, we went on holiday to America, and you could tell it was quite a few years ago because we were actually allowed in. I, rem <laughs> I remember in New York, this very strange thing would happen, whereby random guys would come up to me and they'd be like, hey, hey kid, yeah. hey kid, sorry to interrupt your day, but I used to act. I, I don't <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> hey, kids, sorry to interrupt your day, but I gotta ask you something. What part of Italy are you from? <laughs> I'm like, no, no, I'm, I'm actually Iraqi. And you would see the change in their demeanor. They're like, oh, oh, well, that's, uh, that's good to know. I remember we went to, the, we went to visit the 9 11 memorial. And a quick interlude to the story to tell you the most racist. <laughs> Also kind of funny thing that was said to me. I was back at school, I was telling my friends, I was like, oh yeah, this is what, and then Thursday we went to the 9-11 memorial, and my friend went, oh, ironically. <laughs> what did he mean, ironically? Did he think that my family went there to gloat? Like my dad and I were in South Manhattan chanting, one new to the Taliban, one new. <laughs> what? I mean, if anything, it would be two nil, but hey, listen. <laughs> I... We're not going there, we're not going there tonight. Stop applauding. I remember, listen, if you've not been to the 9-11 Memorial, the most incredible, incredible monument of the horrors and the heroes of that day, and I've got to be honest with you, People were staring at me. Pe people were giving looks to like, me and my family. I, I didn't feel safe. And I I'll never forget this guy, big guy. He, he came up to me and he looked at me and went, hey, you. What part of Italy are you from? <laughs> I just panicked. I was like, Venezia, Venezia. Ven see, see. When's your don mio day? I... <laughs> Thursday, May. <laughs> so my family from Birmingham. I'm, I'm, I'm from Birmingham, and uh, you know, Brummy accent. Uh, it's got a reputation of sounding very unintelligent. What I've realized is that this uh, this kind of affects a lot worse if what the Brummy is saying is actually unintelligent to begin with. Uh, 
I'll give you an example. My friend Amir and I, we're at a house party. I was like, bro, I was like, we need to leave early, man. This, this house party is dead. He looked at me like, bro, no worries, bro. Do I don't worry about it. I got this. My man did not got this. <laughs> he went straight up to the host of the party. He was like, bro, a sick party, you know, we love it. And hey, one second, my phone ringing. I better answer it. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hey, what? Ma Oh, yeah, oh, okay, listen, I, I, I'll be there right away. Because I said, we need to go, my family's dead. Bro, why did you say? <laughs> so, Bromi accent, unintelligent, right? But I think, like, some people, when they're on TV, they make their accent sound intelligent. I'll give you an example. Jamie Carragher, okay? Liverpool SC legend, I think is a great job of making the Scouse accent sound intelligent. Um, that move. Now, if I just stop that, let's see, if I just stop that. The, <laughs> that move by Jürgen Klopp to go to 3 5 2 is absolute genius. I would have done it. <laughs> it's allowed Trent Alexander Arnold to just slop off <laughs> on the right side of Tushan Abach. It allows your midfield to just push forward and help support Roberto Firmino. <laughs> now, I once did that impression in my lab, and my supervisor, who's South African, came up to me and she was like, Hey, Hassan Bru, I told you, eh? No more speaking Arabic in the lab. <laughs> Guys, you've, you've been great. I've been Hassan. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs>